Hey guys, um, happy Thursday. It's April 29. Welcome to Social Studies. You have your question of the day today. Let's go over it together. All right. So we're going to quick jump over to presenter view. Sweet. Why might have the Roman emperors named cities, buildings, innovations, and architecture after themselves? Hmm? Can you think of a modern day example of an important person naming something great after themselves? All right, so just give your opinion here. Why do you think the emperors named cities, they named buildings, um, they named innovations like Julius Caesar, I think he named the calendar after himself. So. Why did people name things after themselves when they were that important? Why do you think that might have been? And then do you think, uh, can you think of a modern day example? So right off the top of my head, something local would be everything we have around Muskegon that's named after Hackley, right? Charles Hackley. He named the library after himself. He named the Hackley uh, Park after himself. He has so many things. His, his house, he just named his house the Hackley House, right? He named uh, the Hackley uh, School Board Building. We have so many things that are Hackley, right? Um, now think of different street names. There's different street names in really big towns. There's always Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, right? In all the towns. And that might not have been Martin Luther King Jr. himself, but we name um, different street names, different things after important people. Why do you think that is? And can you think of some another example. Oh, another one I can think of is the Trump Tower, right? Like, uh, President Trump named a lot of, you know, his, his golf course. I don't know actually if that's named after him, but we definitely have all seen Trump Tower in Chicago, right? So these are just examples um, from today. So maybe you can think of some more, do some Googling on that. Um, that's your question of the day. Now you are going to be taking your quiz. Whoops for uh, the first part of class here. So it's in Google Classroom. You may use your notes. So um, that's why we've been emphasizing, hey, keep your stuff that we're going through. Um, we've tried to do a little bit more hard copy things like a normal year, right? In a normal year, you guys would have handouts and we'd go over them in class. They wouldn't all necessarily be due, but they would just be accumulative your notes. And you're using your notes now on the quiz today, just like you did for Greece and Persia. All right, so that's first. Um, once you jump to lesson video two, I do want to warn you, the date is incorrect. It's a video of me from the past, and that's because we originally had this lesson for last Thursday, but then we decided, hey, you know what? We should do this when we're in your room. So we're really excited. We're going to come around to your rooms again tomorrow, and we're going to be seeing your work, and you'll be presenting to us and the class um, your project, and it's going to be really fun. But my next video explains the project, but it is from a past date. So just pardon the incorrect agenda and the date. Um, things have been updated, but there you have it. Go ahead and do your quiz, and then I will or you will see me in the next video, um, me from the past. So have a great day, guys.